also known as Pitbull, the American Pitbull Terrier was originally a crossbreed of a Bulldog and a Terrier. However, the FCI does not officially recognize the breed. The dogs are strictly regulated or even forbidden in many European countries, as well as in Australia and Canada. History and Origin of the American Pitbull Terrier The ancestors of the Pitbulls were once used in working-class communities in England to hunt rats, where competitions also took place to see which dog could kill the most rats. Because of this, the dogs were highly valued by proud owners. Up until animal fights were forbidden in England in 1835, bull and terrier dogs would be pitted against each other in brutal arena fights. Emigrants from England took the dogs with them to the USA, where illegal dog fights sadly still take place today. The newly named American Pit Bull became very popular and around 1900 the breed was recognized by the newly founded United Kennel Club, which at the time was seen as a professional dogfight organizer. Breeding the dogs for fighting led to a split amongst the breeding community, one which continues to today. Although some breeders wanted to enhance the fighting qualities of the dog, others wished to breed a more peaceful dog, more suitable for family life. In fact, in an American cinema series of the 1930s, The Little Rascals, a pit bull named Pete the Pup was featured as a peaceful and child-friendly dog. Therefore, to distinguish the more gentle-natured breed from the fighting breed, this variant of the dog was renamed as the American Staffordshire Terrier and it was officially recognized in 1936 by the American Kennel Club and later by the FCI. However, the breeders of the fighting version of the dog, who never desired official recognition, continued to call the dog American Pitbull Terrier and the illegal dog fights continued. Appearance of the American Pitbull Terrier Males can reach a height at the withers of between 46 and 53 cm, while bitches are slightly smaller in height from 43 to 51 cm. Depending on their sex, their weight can vary from 13 to 27 kilos. The dog's life expectancy is around 12 years. According to the United Kennel Club standard, the American Pitbull Terrier's short, dense and shiny coat may be of any color and pattern except merle. Blue eyes are also not allowed under the standard. Since the original breeding aim was to breed a dog with a strong will to fight, the dog's general appearance can vary quite significantly. However, dogs that attack people, so-called man-biters, are excluded from breeding programs. Nature and character of the American Pit Bull Terrier Pitbulls are not dangerous if they are well socialized and if they are from a respectable breeder who is able to breed out their fighting nature. On the contrary, this intelligent and robust dog is loyal to its owner, is good-natured, child-friendly and usually has a high irritation threshold. Sadly, in the past the dog was often bred only for its aggressiveness, with owners misusing the dog to be some sort of living weapon. Although studies have shown that the pit bull does not have any breed-specific aggressiveness, ultimately bad breeding and poor socialization and training can turn a dog of any breed into a potentially aggressive dog. Since the breeding standards for American Pit Bull Terriers are still unclear and dogs with a high potential for aggression tend to always be illegally bought and sold, one should be extremely careful when acquiring and keeping this breed and they are certainly not recommended for unexperienced dog owners. They are not particularly suitable as guard dogs either but they do make good rescue or sniffer dogs for finding people, explosives or narcotics. Exercise and care of the American Pit Bull Terrier American Pit Bulls, just like other dogs, want to be challenged mentally as well as physically. They love playing retrieving games or dog sports such as flyball, obedience or agility. Occasionally, pit bulls can be affected by a thyroid hypofunction 
or they can develop cataracts, a clouding of the lens in the eye, and they also suffer when in high temperatures. Their coats are easy to maintain with regular brushing.